Welcome to the RDG Kitchen, and today we're going to do some kind of crazy, fun, and somewhat dangerous looking stuff with coconuts, and uh, fresh coconuts, and you've never really had coconut, you've had fresh coconut. And what always stands between you and fresh coconut is this problem, the hard coconut. So I'm going to show you how to open a coconut. And you hear crazy stories about throw them off the building, put a saw to it, run a car over it, but it's a little bit wacky, but one way to do it, some people will, and there's three little eyes in the bottom, they'll poke a ice pick or a screwdriver there and drain the water out. But then you have a hole in the bottom half if you want to use it for like a cup for a soup or a salad. So what, what I like to do is if you identify those two ends with the holes at one end and the, where the stem comes off, you look at the equator around the other side and that's where probably that shell is the weakest. And if you hold it in your hand, and now this part is very important, with a knife, not the sharp end, but the dull end, you just simply firmly tap that coconut and you can rotate it around a little bit in your hand as you kind of whack the coconut and it'll sound very hard as you go but you're hitting right in that little equator and that's where the, the coconut probably is the weakest and you'll start to hear the sound change. Hear that sound? Now it's a little hollow dull sound as you go around and you keep kind of rotating it remembering not to raise the knife too hard high and hit yourself with the knife going back you just keep whacking it. Listen for that sound to change. Hear it again? And now it's going to start to crack. Sounds like a little dud of a drum. Like you'd almost see that crack forming. See the crack there along that coconut? Once you see that happening, it's almost like you can get in there. You just keep working that crack, giving it firm hits, and it'll slowly start to break apart. Now, always be cautious when doing this because you don't want to miss and even hit your hand with the back of a knife. Well, this one is almost broken apart now, and soon the water will start to leak out as you, as you pull it. Crack it a little bit. Well, might have to give it a couple more wax. As I said, a lot stands between you and a fresh coconut. A couple more hits. This one's pretty close. And it'll open up. You can even insert the knife along that crack now because it's pretty open. And you'll see the water now drain out as it goes. Sometimes they'll crack right in half. But now we've kind of got it, and you see where we have it now. It comes right apart into two halves. And the water goes into the, into the bowl, which we can strain out. And there's the beautiful, fresh coconut inside. So now is how to get the coconut out. And in a lot of ways you could do it. With the knife, you could score it and pop it out. Some people use like a butter knife or a round, dull knife, or even a spoon, and just kind of work it in along the edge of the coconut. And you just kind of pry it away carefully off of the off of the shell. You see, you just kind of run it around and kind of push that that kind of dull knife down. Even the oyster knife can work well. And just kind of slowly, it takes a little bit of patience, pry it away from the from the shell. You can get it out in pieces if you cut it up. Some people pride themselves on getting the whole thing out in one piece. You get to a certain point where it'll just start to pop out. See it coming loose now? There it finally kind of comes loose. Kind of work that spoon or little thread knife underneath there. And even if it breaks apart, it's okay because we're going to slice it up anyway. Oh! And out pops the all the coconut meat from the shell. And sometimes it'll have a little bit of of the fine, so this is very fine, which is really okay. And you can take it then even, and with a knife, or like a potato peeler, you can just go along and just sort of trim off those, those little pieces, if you like it nice and clean. Just kind of trim it up. So then you end up, which is kind of neat, total fresh coconut meat in a nice little bowl 